Hello everybody, it's the next day after my trip from Rogue and so I'm going to do a review of the Rogue dumbbells that I bought. Alright, so how did I get into wanting to buy Rogue? If you look back, I did a video on this. When you want to buy dumbbells, the place to get them is Wally World. They do free shipping and it's about a buck ten a pound for these cap uh, barbell rubber hex coated dumbbells. I have a bunch of these. I think they're great. There's nothing wrong with them. They're perfect actually and a buck ten a pound. Now, every once in a while, you'll see an anomaly. Like here, the 80s are only $73. So you kind of have to look. So if it's less than a buck ten a pound, I'll usually jump on it. Another big one here is the 115s currently are $109. I haven't found a good reason to get 115 pound dumbbells yet. Maybe I will, I don't know. And check the rest of the site. So like here's another weirdness. The weeder ones for the 70 pounders are only $62. So that's a serious bargain too. So these prices change all the time. You sort of have to scour. And also every once in a while, if you buy a pair, it's cheaper than buying the singles individually priced. So that's typically how you'd buy them. But I needed 65s and man, they were more than a buck ten a pound and that just pissed me off. It wasn't much more, but just the principle of it made me angry. So I didn't buy those. And then the 75s are way more than a buck ten a pound. There's, they're like a buck fifty or something, a buck sixty. So I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> and I figured maybe I need to look at other sources. I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. And the price on Rogue Dumbbells themselves is actually pretty good. But the shipping, they charge shipping on them. If you get a couple of them, they charge you normal freight. And then if, if I wanted to buy all four of them, it was going to be LTL freight, like $130 in shipping. But you can see that they're cheaper than the caps. Okay, so here are my Rogue Dumbbells. They're the ones closest to us. I bought 75s and 65s. Then on the other side, I put my old trusty cap barbell dumbbells so that we can kind of do a little bit of an A-B comparison. Honestly, the differences that I saw, the cap barbells have a slightly more aggressive knurling on the handles. But I'm not sure that's true for every weight denomination. My guess would be it depends on what day they roll out of the factory. But the Rogue had a less aggressive neural. The caps, especially the heavy ones, the neural is so aggressive, you'll feel it. Like it's like a powerlifting bar. And then the Rogues are a little more gentle. The other thing I noticed is that the rubber on the Rogue feels harder, almost like a plastic. So, and then on the cap barbell ones, it's kind of a, it's definitely a softer rubber. I mean, not so much that I feel like that impacts anything, but the Rogues definitely felt harder. Maybe that's higher quality. I honestly don't know. I mean, the whole point of rubber coated double dumbbells is so that they don't damage things when you drop them. So uh, maybe these are built to withstand club use more. I, I don't know. It's just something that I noticed. It was a tiny difference. The other thing, and I just hate this about dumbbells, is when I get them, they're just coated with slime from the factory. And I have to sit there with a scrub brush and dish soap and scrub the crap out of them so that they're not just completely oily when I go to use them. Now, I will say that the caps were worse than the Rogues. My Rogue 65s felt oily right out of the box, so I scrubbed the crap out of them. The 75s felt a little bit better, so I didn't. And then this morning when I went to touch them, it was like, yeah, they're getting oil on my hands too. So I have to take these outside. I mean, when you get into these super heavy ones, you can't really put them in your kitchen sink. And so you end up taking them outside, but you really have to go at these with a scrub brush, I feel, before you can put them in your gym. So other than that, I don't really feel like the Rogue is any different than the Cap. I feel like they're both very similar products and they're both just sort of of a type. Now, the other thing that I'll say is, for some reason, whatever material they're using in the Rogue, the 65 looks about the same size as my 70s, so I don't know, maybe the Rogues overall are bigger. It's uh, sort of hard to tell, really. But uh, again, the products are so similar, I, I really don't feel like there's a difference here. As far as how accurate these are, my Rogue 75 weighs in at 74 and a half pounds. And weighing one of the 65s, it comes in at 64.8. Okay, these were just randomly selected, but my Cap Barbell 70 comes in at 71.2 pounds. And my 60 pounder comes in at 60.4. So in my very unscientific sample, looks like the um, Cap Barbell comes in a little heavy and the Rogue comes in a little light. Okay, so other than the one weird scenario that I described earlier in the video, I don't really think I would have bought the Rogue Dumbbells. There's nothing wrong with them, and I saved a little bit of money by driving quite a bit. 
but for the most part, I think cap barbell is cheaper. And as far as I'm concerned, there are no differences in terms of what you're getting. And the only real difference you'll feel is maybe in the neural. But if you're a power lifter, you're used to feeling that aggressive neural anyway. So I think the clear winner here is cap barbell. So that's my opinion. I know that there's a lot of rogue fanboys out there who are just going to be really mad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just calling it like I see it. So um, I say go with Cat Barbell. So have a great workout, everybody, and we'll see you again soon.